Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hey there. In this video, I want to show you how to run a profit and loss by customer. Let me just take you to my reports. I'm going to get there by clicking reports on the left. In the search box, I'm just going to search for profit and then use the mouse to select profit and loss by customer. I know I could have scrolled down, but I think this is easier for me. I'll change it to all dates. I don't have a lot of sample data in here, but I definitely have some. And then I'll say run report. So here's what I want you to see. I have other videos where I show you how to make a sub customer so you can do what you see here and how to mark expenses so they'll show up on this report. In this video, I just want you to see what's happening with this report and why you might be interested in it. I'm going to take the example of demo customer. In my example, demo customer is the main or parent or primary customer. And then sub demo one is just me being funny and just saying, oh, it's a sub customer of demo customer. This might be the sort of thing that applies to you if you say that you work in a service based industry where you fix things and you're working for a property management company. The main property management company could be over here where it says demo customer. And then the different apartment complexes or buildings or whatever could be, you know, sub customer one and sub customer two. The idea being that you want to know how profitable that property management company is, but also you want to know specifically the jobs, how profitable are they? So maybe you're tracking it based on specific units or specific buildings. Maybe you're not service based at all. Maybe you're an attorney and you're saying I've got a customer and my customer has various matters. Whatever the situation is, I just wanted you to see this. Every time you create an invoice, you can say this invoice belongs to this customer or the sub customer. That's going to track your revenue so that it shows up on here. You're able to see individually how much money are you making from each of your customers and then total how much money you're making from this one customer, including all their sub customers. Cost of goods sold. You can keep track of any expenses related to that customer. You don't have to let your customer know what the expenses are. You don't have to put them on the invoice. Just behind the scenes, you're keeping track and saying, oh, I spent this much money for this and this much money for that. A good example of that in the accounting industry is if, if we're buying software to work with our clients, maybe we're paying for Keeper or we're paying for HubDoc or who knows what. These are things that we're not necessarily billing back to our clients, but we're paying for on behalf of to make our job easier. That's the sort of thing where you just quietly make a little tag and say, oh, this is going to this customer. So when we look at it, we can see how profitable was this experience. At the bottom, you can see the income for the particular customers, as well as the total income for the customer plus their sub customers. And then as you get to the far right, you can see the total income for all your customers. This total in the far right is the same thing as the profit and loss without subdividing it by customer. If you're having trouble visualizing the customer and the sub customer, because I've given them funny names, I'm just going to take you over to my customer list so you can see them. So it's my main customer. Here's my sub customers, my main, my sub. Again, I have other videos that show you how to set up your sub customers and show you how to mark your expenses. So they'll show up on that profit and loss by customer report. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have anything you want to see me make a video on, leave it in the comments down below. I like making videos that are short, sweet, and to the point. If you have a lot of questions or a lot of things to make videos on, I'm very likely to break it up into multiple videos, making it easier for people to find what they need without all the fluff. Okay, I'm here if you need me. Thanks.